The sound you hear is the marble fork of the Kauia River. There's, I can walk to the river, but it's a little ways. This is taken in the middle of my campground to show how far I have to walk to go to my chair where I'm about to have a cocktail. This is taken in the middle of my campground to show how far I have to walk to go to my chair where I'm about to have a cocktail. Now I'm sitting in the chair on the knoll and looking at the river. There's actually a sunset over there. I don't know if it'll be apparent on the picture, but they're pink clouds. You don't see that much camping. Usually you're enclosed by trees or cliffs or mountains. Let's see how this comes out. So this is the... Okay. This is the biggest tree in the world, the Sherman tree. Can't even see the top. It's the one on the left. There's two of them on the right, it's close together. This is the Big Trees Trail across from the Sequoia Museum in Sequoia National Park and I recommend it. It's a beautiful meadow to walk around and on the edges of the meadow are these incredible trees. Trail is paved. It's easy. I stopped here for a rest, and this is what I see. Breeze. This is Lodgepole Campground, Sequoia National Park. I just finished setting up my camp. I usually wait until morning to take a picture of it, but the sun shining right on the location prompted me to do this a little bit sooner than usual. You can see that it's right by the river. This is just one branch of the river. Uh, it's just down the to the left a little bit, there's another branch that comes in. Let's see if we can see that. Oh, if you 
you see it through the trees. It's June 20th. But there's the picnic table from the other angle. As you can see the snow. That's the restroom building up there. It's not an outhouse, it has running water. You have to kind of dodge the snow patches to get to it. They just opened up this loop of the campground. And that's across the river in the afternoon. What are those? I look at them with my binoculars and they seem to have petals. They have flower that's growing, but I have a field guide to life in the Sierras that includes the hundreds of flowers. Nothing looks like that. Come back a little bit. They look to be about six inches or eight inches high. What are those red things? 